victims, that is, they're adults now, but they were under age at the time that they were with Mr. Kelly. And so I've not revealed their identities, nor have I revealed the details of what they have shared. But, you know, there's a concern about who, who that may be. That will be for law enforcement to determine the identity of the children on the tape, if they are able to identify. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I have a problem with this press conference. And we talked about this when it first came out. And I just want to reminisce on some things that um, this Gloria All Red has said, you know, and I call her Gloria All Lies. So up under the same breath, you said kids, children, without having the facts. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm bothered with that. You know, I'm bothered with that. So I'm just going to break it down. But for her to say, um, it, it's up to the, you know, the the law to look through this tape to, to, to determine if these people are underage. And so from what we know uh, as of today, of 2021, we didn't see those tapes. We didn't see those tapes. And another question we have this guy that's at the press conference, Mr. Gary. All of a sudden, why now? So you just found the tape all out of the blue. Just like uh, Michael Avenatti. All out of the blue, you found the tape. So I want y'all to see where they was getting everything geared up to make sure that they get a conviction. So let's, let's, let's hear some more of Gloria All Lies. Yes. Is there any indication about when this tape was produced, if any? Well, it was at the time that the VHS, VHS tapes were in circulation. We do believe that we know the year, but we're just going to say the 1990s. Now, Gloria Allies said, we believe we know the year, but let's just say the late 1990s or something to that fact. I had to... You know, I'm trying to remember because she said so many lies. Point out the lies from the truth from Texas Black Diamond. You guys, all I'm trying to do is point out the lies from the truth and give my opinion on the BS and this madness here. So um, if I can remember, because I remember the, the VHS tapes. And the VHS tape, you know, you have the the the, the date and everything at the, at, at the top. The date and the time all at the top. Why now? Tapes falling from the sky in, in, in 2019, all the way back from, you know, 20, uh, let's say two, um, 2002 and up into the, the 90s. So now they, they just resurface everybody. A tape resurface all out the blue from different areas, different states out the blue in 2019. Make it make sense. Yes. Ms. Alder, what law enforcement entity did you submit these tapes to? Was it local? Was it an attorney, a state's attorney or attorney general, FBI? Who did those go to? The United States Attorney's Office for the Eastern District of New York. Do they live in the Eastern District? Do they live on Long Island? They are residents of Pennsylvania. Are residents of Pennsylvania. And so, so why the Eastern District of New York? And so, so why the Eastern District of New York? I had to double that one up for you guys and triple it up for you guys. They live in Pennsylvania. And the, you see, the press is not dumb either. Just pay attention to the questions from the press. And, you know, one of the journalists like, why New York? Why New York? And that's the question that we all ask. Why New York? Why New York? And pay attention to um, this old slap uh, uh, thing. Look at her facial expression, smiling like the Grinch. Just pay attention to her face. I think that was appropriate. That's why. You had a lot to elaborate? No. You had a lot to elaborate? No. But it's, it's, my it's my opinion that that was the appropriate jurisdictional law enforcement entity which should receive them. So when Gloria Allies was asked 
that question, you see the smile on her face? Like the Grinch that stole Christmas. And she had the biggest, and there's, there's some sneak stuff right there. When you see people do that, they on some sneak stuff. That's why I want to bring that to your attention, that part right there. That part. Yes. Can you talk a little bit about the timeline, roughly when the tapes were discovered, until they contacted your office, until today, I guess when they were turned over to the authorities? And, and well, I'll, I'll, with all of that, um, I, add, um, I, I will say, within recent weeks. You see, Gloria, all, all lies pause, you guys. And so just think about it. She was thinking, she was like, oh, dang it. Like, how should I tell him this? Because if I said we've been found to tape, they'd be like, okay, why now to, um, now you release it. So within weeks after, now, after the, 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 the docuseries of lies, surviving lies, so, uh, Mr. Um, Gary Dennis decides to go down into his basement now. I wanted to look, look at a basketball game, an old Jordan basketball game. And lo and behold, after the surviving lies, look what I found. A uh, uh, VHS tape of someone claiming that this is Robert and an underage girl. And I call foolery on this and you guys it's just i'm looking at it and i'm and, and you know and so for the people that actually you know just looking at the media looking at the press looking at the news and 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 this is exactly what they are looking at you guys press conference of people like gloria all lies uh, spreading rumors and lies and not giving a fact giving facts and trying to set up an indictment in new york city and so you should ask yourself this question. How is this lady allowed to sit here at a press conference? It's not confirmed of who's on this tape. If it's a, 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 a young lady, whom? They don't know. But you get on a platform and you speak against Robert Sylvester Kelly as if you know all facts. And that's one thing that needs to shut down. And you see, she had to think. She really had to think about that. So when you have to think, you don't you don't have to think about the truth. And like I told you guys before, you do not have to rehearse the truth. Okay? You don't have to rehearse the truth. Because if you pay attention to everybody that said at a press conference with Gloria All Eyes, they're reading off a of paper. And if you know your truth, you don't need no rehearsal. You don't need no paper. You're going to speak your truth. All of this took place. They were found in recent weeks. Well, yeah, it, recently. Were they found before or after the documentary was released? All of this took place. They were found in recent weeks. Well, yeah, it, recently. Were they found before or after the documentary was released? All of this took place. They were found in recent weeks. Well, yeah. It, Recently. Were they found before or after the documentary was released? After. Is there any way to tell um, how many girls are in, how many different girls and what young women are in the video? And also, does uh, Mr. Dennis have, was he a former employee? Has he ever met R. Kelly? Does he know people that know them? I mean, how so That's about thoughts? three questions. Okay. So let's start with your first. Okay, Can you great. Just break that down. Please? Okay. How many? Can you tell by the video how many women, young girls are in the house? More than one. Ten. Um, we're not going to disclose the number, but more than one. Does Mr. Dennis have any ties to Mr. Kelly? Did he Mr. Have Dennis has never met Mr. Kelly. Has never had any communication with Mr. <laughs> Kelly and has never attended an R. Kelly concert. But must friends in common? I don't know whether anyone he knows knew Mr. Kelly. He doesn't know Mr. Kelly. Sally doesn't know Mr. Kelly. There's been no communication with Mr. Kelly by Mr. 
Mr. Dennis or by his wife, Sally. Now listen to this journalist here because I'm like, I'm feeling you, sister, because she's reading the BS as well. And, you know, we're wondering, okay, you don't know him, no affiliation with him, all the way over here on, on the other side of the earth, and you just so happen to have some, some tapes. And they tried to say a box of tapes. So I want y'all to listen to the journalist and then listen to um, Gloria All Lies and, with her lies, okay? So a box of tapes, one saying R. Kelly ends up in his home, in his home? That's correct. And we don't, we don't know how that would have happened. We know what we shared, and that's what we know. That's all we know. This was in the basement? It was in his home and in a box. I, I can't say exactly where. Now everyone has amnesia, okay? So nobody knows exactly where it was located in the home of these people, of uh, Mr. Um, Greg Dennis, you know? So we heard the, 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 the den, the basement, and so now we don't know. And see, these people, they're, they're, they're throwing these questions at them like, wait a minute, like, make it make sense to us because all of a sudden, if some tapes that was been sitting around in his home for over, what, 20, 30 years, and you mean to tell me he just stumbled on these tapes after the surviving lies? In his home, it was located, but he has shared all that information with law enforcement. Answer all of their questions, and Sally has also answered all of their questions, and is happy to do so. Who has not yet had an opportunity to answer questions? How do you know that the girls were underage, and was there any other man than R. Kelly or who you suspect to be R. Kelly on the tape? How do you know that the girls were underage, and was there any other man than R. Kelly or who you suspect to be R. Kelly on the tape? Listen to her, you guys. The the journalist was this. They were on point, and this is what I love about the reporters, they was like, okay, how do you know? And I want y'all to listen to her answer, okay? And I'm gonna come back. I'm coming back. They assume that the girls were underage because they were not fully developed. Wait a minute, you guys. Give me a second to get some peroxide and get a Q-tip and clean out my ear and let me hear her again to make sure I hear what she is saying here. Okay? Just give me a minute. Let me hear it again. They assume that the girls were underage because they were not fully developed. They assumed. Not, see, they didn't, they didn't, they, no facts. They just assumed that these Females were underage because they wasn't fully de developed. Uh, are we going by the breast sizes, the booty sizes, the kitty cat sizes? Because in that case, I want to know where my cha chas is. I have kindergarten cha chas. My daughter was 15 and had breasts of a grown woman. Okay? So, we're, so now we're determining a person's age because of the development of their bodies. Have you ever heard of process? Okay. Let me tell you something. Uh, that don't fly right with me. That does not fly right with me, you guys. For sh this lady to say they assumed. Now, this is what I'm talking about. We are going on something, some alleged stuff that Robert was acquitted of back in 2008. A 2001 indictment, okay? 2001. So, let's go back. That's 20 years ago. 20 years ago, we are going by that to, to assume, okay, these videos showing that undeveloped women with small breasts and, and thin vaginas and flat rumps are underage. Because if we're going by that, I'll I take it all day long. I'm, I'm, I'm young then because I don't have the booty. I don't have the breasts. And that, that is full BS to me. To allow this woman, Gloria All Lies, to get on here with this Greg Dennis 
and, 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 and say that these are underage female. You got to be kidding me. You got. <laughs> and was he the only man on the tape? Or who you suspect? He was the only man on the, meaning R. Kelly, yes. was the only man seen on the tape. Question. Yes. Any other questions? Question. Yes. Like, what, what point of view is it? Like, the camera set off to the side? Like, who's actually filming? If it's R. Kelly filming, you would see him. Like, how does it? Who what point of view is that camera? your question? Yeah. Or was it, well, Mr. 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 Dennis said that it appeared to him that Mr. Kelly was controlling the camera. Do you know how long the tape is? And any of the he pictures? does know how long the tape is, but he's not going to disclose that at this time. Are there any like indicators maybe he set on the camera that indicates that he is R. Kelly? Like, you know, do you want to drop the music industry? Or does he say anything that's sort of like indicates we don't want to describe the detail on the tape but they have both viewed it and it is their conclusion that this is R. Kelly it appears to them that he is R. Kelly have you viewed the tape? on the tape have you viewed the tape? I don't have any comment on Ms. Albert, did Mr. Albert, did Mr. Dennis, oh, sorry, go ahead. Uh, you mentioned that it appeared uh, R. Kelly was controlling the camera, uh, but it also appeared that he was in the video. Uh, so Meaning participating in the sexual abuse. Is his face visible in the video? Their conclusion is that this is Mr. Kelly. Did the women know if his face had not been visible, they would not have been able to reach that conclusion. Ms. Albert, did, did Mr. Dennis recognize any of the young girls that were in the video? No. And is there any indication where it was shot, the video? I mean, what, which, there is, is no indication of the city and state the where, it, where it was shot. Was it a bedroom or did it look like? No. I'm sorry, but we're not able to discuss in which room this tape was made. Did the women know they were being filmed? I don't have any comment on that. And these were not women, these were girls. Oh, girls. Oh, they were age girls. And it appears that Robert is in the tape. It appears that he's operating the tape. And then we have Gloria Allies is speaking on what Dennis is saying here that it's Robert. The journalist asked her, have she seen it? And she's trying to think about it and contemplate and saying she's not going to comment on that. And so they was asking her the question like, was it in the bedroom? Where was it? And where was it located? And she didn't want to speak on that because Quite frankly, she wants it to be somewhere in New York. She's trying to place Robert in New York. And so, as of today, we see why they were so desperate to try to get him an indictment in New York City. Like I said, New York has all these different kind of rules and set in place and, you know, and things like that. And trying to get a free code and stuff going. Because they were trying to make sure they... they um, received a conviction and like I said Robert has been um, um, rights has been violated and so you under the same breath you said that they assumed that it was minors under age and then one journalist said woman and you correct her and said no girls and then you tried to say this tape here was um um a violation of you know taking advantage of someone and apparently it was a consensual um, sexual entanglement N you never said that someone was beaten or threatened or forced to have sex on that tape and to allow Gloria all eyes to say this it's, it's not right it's a, a big violation um, on Robert here and if you don't see that 
something is wrong and we need to take care of this because it can be you like we have always said robert today and it might be you tomorrow i really couldn't comment on whether they knew they were being recorded didn't know they were being recorded in a way it doesn't matter because the child cannot legally consent to being sexually abused and cannot legally consent to be sexually abused and recorded while she is being sexually abused. How did Mr. Kelly come to know these girls? I'm sorry, I couldn't hear your question. How did he come to know these girls? We, we have no comment on how he came to know these girls. That would be for law enforcement to state if, as, and when they think it's appropriate to state that. At this point, is there any indication that additional charges will be brought as a result of this case from law enforcement? That will be for the prosecutors to decide if, as, and when any additional charges would be filed against Mr. Kelly, and if so, where, and if so, where. This is the United States Attorney's Office. This is a federal criminal investigation. We know there is a pending criminal case in which Mr. Kelly has been charged in Chicago and Cook County by Cook County <coughs> prosecutors. Whatever happens to that case, whether he is ultimately convicted or acquitted, the United States Attorney's Office could, either way, still file charges against him if, as, and when they believe it is appropriate to do so. So there's an ongoing federal investigation in addition to the Cook County investigation? It appears to me that there is an open investigation by the United States Attorney's Office in the Eastern District. Why does it appear that way? I can't comment on that. However, in my last news conference here in New York, I did state that my clients in that case, who alleged they were 16 and 15 years old, that's Latrice and Rochelle, they spoke to law enforcement, namely the United States Attorney's Office for the Eastern District of New York. Has your office, or to your knowledge, have the authorities uh, made any contact regarding this with uh, Kelly's attorneys? You would have to ask Mr. Kelly's attorneys. So your office has not reached out? About reached out to whom? His attorneys. Regarding. I see no need to re reach out to Mr. Kelly's attorney regarding this VHS tape. I know you said this all occurred in, within the last few weeks. When did you hand the tape over to authorities? Recently. Was anything else out of the ordinary found in Mr. Dennis's VHS collection? To his knowledge at this time, he believes that this may be the only tape that he has had possession of in reference to Mr. Kelly. But we can't be 100% sure. Here's what we can be 100% sure of. If there is anything else in that box that depicts Mr. Kelly, law enforcement will be provided with it immediately. And they will have immediate access to everything in that box so they can ascertain what, if anything, is present in that box. He is happy to assist in any and every way that they deem appropriate. So now Gloria all eyes is saying if there were if there's if there's anything else in the box that they will send it over to the attorneys. Okay, send the whole damn box. So you mean to tell me 
that he didn't go through the rest of the boxes because everything is plotted here. So we 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 don't really know. So we got this um, we got these VHS tapes falling out the sky. So we this lady um, she's speaking on the box and if we come across any more. So if this guy found this tape, you would think the feds and, 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 and anyone else that's in the law department will go in and, and have them to turn in, you know, these tapes. Let's look over these tapes and let's make sure there's nothing else here. Because, hell, I'm trying to figure out why you got the tapes anyway. Did you claim this underage, you know, uh, 20 years ago tapes, okay? It's, it's very confusing to me on how they allow an attorney to sit here and speak without no facts, no evidence. It's a ongoing investigation, and you're allowed to speak to the media, speak to the public, paint the narrative, persuade potential jurors as what happened to Robert in this New York trial. And so, once again, will he have a fair trial in Chicago? Will he have a fair trial in Chicago? Let's hope that these potential jurors see the foolery and say that this this man did not have a fair trial. So we're gonna give we we're gonna find him not guilty. We don't like how America has done this because every human being in the United States, as it says in the Constitution, has a right to a fair trial, and he he did not have a fair trial. No form of fashion, especially when you have Lifetime of Lies, you have these women on bashing tours, you have the, the mammy, you know, boo-hooing, and just all these um, allegations all over the place. Yes, you said there, you believe there's additional tapes um, out there. What would lead you to believe? Are there other tapes of this particular incident? The basis for my belief is that there have been news reports over the years that there were tapes depicting Mr. Kelly in sexually abusive acts with children that were being sold on street corners in Chicago. Bootleg tapes. I don't know whether that's true. I'm just stating what I have seen in news reports that may or may not be true, but that's the basis for my belief that it is possible. So now Gloria, all lies, she claimed she didn't know anything about the, the alleged tape indictment back in 2002. The tapes were out. They were out for sale. So then these charges came up. It started from Jim Derrigatis. Jim Derrigatis claimed that he sent the tapes over to the law enforcement. So Sparkle, he reached out to Sparkle, asked Sparkle was that his, her niece. So my thing is um, this greasy white man with all these tattoos on his ass. How you know Sparkle? How you know Sparkle? How you know her niece? And those are some key questions there. How do you know to find Sparkle? You get this tape, and then you you look at it. Then you have someone else to look at it. Then you guys, every a lot of people looked at this tape, you know. And so then we had some tapes um, put out there on display. Um, and they said that lady that was on there was Roshonda Landfair. Roshonda Landfair has always been a chubby face um, lady. From um, youth on up to now, chubby cheeks. And this lady had, you know, her bone structures were different, okay? And so now we have Gloria Allies taking it all the way back 20 years ago to assume that, okay, this is a underage female that's on the tape without having someone to speak out to say that's me on the tape, you know, speaking to um, investigators, saying that is me, that is me on there, and this is my birth certificate, this is the year. So also, if there's no, you're saying you don't recall the dates on those tapes, and you don't see dates on that tape, 
How can you sit there and say that that's an underage girl with no date on that tape? So now we know that any and everybody can come forward and say anything and they will believe these people. And shame on the black man sitting over there looking like a fool. That's our people for you. I'll put it like that. Let's help get the white woman rich, okay? Because you ain't getting nothing but one-third of it. Okay, brother? Also, I have been contacted by others in reference to the possession of tapes. I, I'm not at liberty to disclose who contacted me, what they have, what's on the tapes. Anyone who contacts me has a right to a confidential conversation. I will not disclose what they told me, whether they turn over such tapes if they exist or don't turn them over. I would never disclose that without their permission or anything about them. Uh, yes. I just think that it is such a bombshell claim. Is there any indication? And we're going to talk about did he say something in the video? Did he appear in the video? Can you give us any? Kind of, you know, evidence that you are sure that R. Kelly in the video? Anything? I know you're. I, 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 I will just say, and I can't give you the reason, I have a basis for believing that it appears that it is Mr. Kelly on the video. Can I say that to 100% certainty? No. Can I say that to 100% certainty? No. So you're not certain. So you you have the right to get up there and speak on someone and you're not 100% certain of these allegations. So do you have a right to be up there paraying around the potential jurors, paraying around the media to put allegations out there that you're not 100% sure of? As Michael Avenatti said... 90% lies and 10% truth. Okay. Do I have a basis for believing it? Yes. That's all I can say. I... Ms. Allred, in terms of the, you've represented many sex abuse survivors. Yes. What concerns do you have for these, these young girls that appear in this video that they may be outed against their will because of this? Well, they're not going to be outed by us because no because no member of the public will see this tape, nor has any member of the public seen this tape that was in the possession of Gary and Sally. We are not providing this to any member of the press, nor to any other person. Because the only people who should see this tape are law enforcement. And that's about clear as I can make it. And then it'll be for the prosecutors to decide if as and when charges are filed, if it should be shown in a court of law or not. But I do not have any knowledge as to whether additional charges will be filed if so, where, when, that is not for me to know. I don't ask that question. It's not appropriate to know. That would be for prosecutors to decide. And could Mr. Dennis, what's his occupation? He works in a nursing home. He assists there. He, and they're very fortunate to have him because he's a very caring person. Yes. Has there been any concerns with the Dennis's um, speaking as far as safety or any anything else? They're very courageous, and they decided if they wanted to speak out because protection of children is paramount to them, and they won't, they don't want these tapes to be in circulation, and they felt they needed to ask the public, please do not sell them, do not give them away. Do not distribute them if you have them. Do not tamper with them. Do not discard them. Do the right thing in the right way. Take the right steps so that law enforcement can have them. And that's why they're doing it. 
they, yes, they've thought about the risks to them and the fact that not everyone will agree to the fact that tape should be turned over to law enforcement, but I think they're clear that this was the right thing to do, and they're courageous and they were going to do it. And they did. Are there any other questions? Yes. Why did Mr. Dennis feel the need to speak out about it? Why not just turn over the tapes quietly? Yeah. He felt the need to speak out about it because he wants the message to be sent to any other person or persons who may have access to or possession of similar tapes. That they need to do the right thing, A ASAP, and turn it over to law enforcement. And we are concerned, all of us, that not all such tapes are in the possession of law enforcement and yet should be. There may be people out there profiting from these tapes. And if you're profiting from the possession of such tapes, then you are profiting from the sexual abuse of children. And that is wrong. And we want people to not encourage the exploitation and the abuse of children in child pornography. We want everyone to step up and say, I'm going to do the right thing to protect children. I'm going to turn over these tapes. However it came into your possession, it doesn't matter. We just need to have access to the tapes so that law enforcement can have it. That's why he did this today. So you find a tape and you, 20 year tape, and you just decide to be this Mr. Um, good Guy. Tape been sitting there collecting this. You decide to go look for a movie and all of a sudden, whoa and behold, a sex tape of Robert Kelly just pops up out of nowhere, just magically pop up after a lifetime of life. And you want to be courageous to just go ahead and just, here you go, I got a tape. You know, and I just want to do the right thing. And, you know, I want to make sure everybody's good and, and nobody else is being harmed. And that tape been sitting there all this time, like 20 years now. 20 years. You 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 didn't want to watch a, a movie or nothing back then. Like, right around the time, you know, people was watching VHS tapes. It just mysteriously it just popped up in a box. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. And I just love the way these... Journalists were popping them questions out on their tail. It's important because when you have people like that, they would do desperate things for money, you know. And so that was a good question there. I appreciate y'all journalists. So we're going to remind these people this, this stuff that's, this, that's going on out here and the violations of um, Robert Sylvester Kelly. And he's Robert Sylvester Kelly Sr. to us because we are fighting for the human Robert Sylvester Kelly, you guys. So we're trying to put this information out there and let you guys see it for yourself, hear it for yourself, um, along with my opinions and breakdowns of this because, hey, pointing the lies out from, from the truth. Yes. Ms. Oliver, were you given any kind of guarantee that no charges will be brought against the Dennis's in terms of possession of this? I have no concern about that whatsoever. It's clearly they're doing the right thing in the right way for the right reason at the right time. Doing the right thing at the right reason at the right time and that's to fit the narrative to paint the minds and toxic the minds of the public and so this is the right time right not 20 years ago not 15 not 10 years ago but the right time after the lifetime of life and you can see them just be getting up and, and, and all smiles. All smiles. Come on, baby, get on there because, see, now we got it. We got it, so you ain't got to worry no more. Gloria, all eyes going to make sure that you get a fresh uh, wave nouveau put on your head and you ain't got to worry about wearing them plaits on your head like that and that bang no more. So let's all you did was get rich on these war crimes. It's a conspiracy. Who's the terrorist? The U.S. government must